What is good, Grey Gang? We are coming out here today, and I am going to attempt to do the knife-only survival challenge. Now, I know what you're saying. You know, dude, I saw your history. You're not exactly the survival type, okay? And yeah, 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 I kind of agree with you on that one. But I have a little trick up my sleeve. That trick is the KG survival knife. Now, check this out, guys. Literally, the entire video is just about I have one knife, and I have to make something happen. So, this right here is literally the knife of choice. It is the KG survival knife. It comes with this Kydex sheath that I can just clip on my pants. But then once I pull the knife out, you see pretty clearly, pretty quickly why I chose this knife. Full tang handle, so the blade is one piece of metal all the way down the handle. And it just overall feels super good and it's super sharp. So this thing right here should be able to do whatever any knife can do. So without further ado, guys, it ain't gonna be an easy challenge, but a challenge it will be. I'm gonna make a wild guess and say we should start at the river. What you think? Yeah. Alright guys, we are now at the creek. Not necessarily the river, we ended up coming over here to the creek instead. But here's the thing guys, whenever I thought about a knife only survival challenge, I thought about it, listen, I have two options, okay? I can either go straight Florida man, jumping out of trees and stabbing hogs in the back of the head, which I don't even have hogs, so I literally would have to jump out of a tree and stab a deer or something, and then literally like rub two sticks together to start a fire. You know what? I just don't think that's my style, okay? We'll leave that up to Florida man, but today we're going holler boy style, coming down to the river, and we're looking for garbage, okay? One man's trash is another man's treasure. I got me a good knife, but I'll take whatever I can scavenge. If I can find some old fishing line on the river, I'll take it. If I can find a water bottle, I'll take it. I ain't drinking out of it, but I'll take it. Let's go down here and see what we can see. See, boom, right here, old cigarette packet. That ain't really gonna help us much, but no. if I really like cigarette packs and yeah, man. Anyways, here's a water bottle. Like I was saying, I ain't gonna drink out of it, but I could use that if I needed to. I'm sure there's gonna be plenty of water bottles, so I'm not necessarily gonna jump after that one. There's about 60 right there. We got about as many bottles in McDonald's cup as one could ask for. And you may be asking, KG, how'd all this junk get here? Well, this river floods like a ton because we're in the mountains of Kentucky. So basically the water lifts everything up in fields and everything and then just throws it down the river and then it lands wherever it lands. Like you'll look up in trees and there'll be five gallon buckets from flood season. We gotta watch out for snakes. Yeah, watch out for snakes. Definitely be on the lookout for fishing line. If I can find fishing line or some kind of lighter that I can just barely get the spark off of, that'll make my life a lot easier. This is what I'm talking about, son. We need to build us a fire right here if we can get food. Right there's deer prints. So yeah, they're I mean, all over right here. If I had to, I guess I could climb up in the tree and jump down and stab one. It ain't deer season, but I hope I can find better options. I'm about positive I could find some crawdaddies, but I don't really want any crawdaddies, okay? There's something. Is this a message in a bottle or what? Hmm. Probably just a bottle. Yeah, bottle, no message. What about that? Oh, here we go, our first food source of the day. Looks like we got a clam. Oh, heck yeah, we'll eat that thing whole. Come on, clam. Oh. Bruh. Just sand in the shell. Yeah, that was that's sad, dude. Well, huh, what we got here? There's something, but I ain't touching it. I wouldn't. Dude, this is the perfect place to build a fire because yeah. everything's gonna be dry, and right here's some dry wood we can use. Oh, heck yeah. Looks like a beaver's been chewing on it, but if I can split this up with my knife, this is gonna be some perfect firewood because it's been under the bridge and it's dry. Right, we're building the fire right here. Wonder if on this side of the bridge anything would be there. I don't know, we'll keep looking. So far we found a really good spot for shelter, dry wood, all that good stuff, and we found water, and that's pretty important in case we need it. Fresh water too, fresh flowing water. Let's just keep on looking out here and see what we can scatter. So far it's looking pretty good. We just don't have a way to get food yet, and that's pretty important. Here's some metal. Metal? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, here's a railroad spot. I don't know what I can use that for yet, but I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna set it right there and I'll keep that. If I can rig me up a way to fish, I think I'm gonna be golden. I just gotta find fishing line and we're on the river, so I think it shouldn't be hard to find one. We're going in. I ain't going in barefoot. I don't wanna die. Oh, I bet I can find some bait here pretty easy. Here's me a fishing pole. That'll, do, that'll work for something. Or I can spear something. Yeah. I can make a frog gig out of this. Or a fish gig. Here's that. I can use that for something. That's just pretty much a tarp. You guys, I went back to the Defender to kind of get the keys out of it. And I was walking down the hill and I found this. 
I think it's a fire starter. I don't know. But I put it in my pocket and he's way over there. I think he'll be excited to see. Yo, guys, I'm over here alone because Ethan didn't come over here with the camera. He didn't want to go through the water. But I don't really know what I just found. But I found a whole creek up here and I might have just found a cable or trot line or something. Oh, here we go. This may be used for something. Okay. Okay, one time, big shoe sole. If my Crocs give out, I can use them. All right, what we got here? We got anything useful? Right over there is what I was looking at. That big old cable. I don't know if that's a cable or what it is, but there might be hooks hanging off of it. And if there is, I can use those hooks to try to catch a fish. Dude, no way. Dude, no, I just found fishing line. Dude, I know it was gonna be here. I think he said he found fishing line. I don't know. Did you say you felt fishing line? Yeah, he found fishing line. Now, I don't know how old this is or what pound this is, but I definitely got enough fishing line. And as long as it's not dry rotted, which uh, to be completely honest, guys, I don't know how long it's been here. So it very well may be dry rotted. This is pretty perfect, actually. If I'm lucky, there might be a hook attached, but I definitely, yeah, there's no hook attached. That's okay. All I was really looking for is fishing line because I knew if I have fishing line, I can catch a fish. I have an idea. I do you gotta say, this, this bridge is sketch. <laughs> hey, what's your name? Billy. Hi, Billy. You found what? Fire starter. fire starter. I'm gonna head on back, grab that fishing line. I think you found a fire starter? So like, bet. Yeah, let's get on back, because I want to build that fish hook. And it ain't necessarily gonna be, wait a minute, we can build a fish hook out of a pop can lid. See if you can find a pop can with a pop tab on it. We can make a hook out of that. A little update, he's got me looking for a pop can with a tab on it so he can make a fish hook. I don't think it'd be too hard to find around here. There's junk all over this place, but we'll find one. I got me this cane pole, which should be pretty all right. It's not super long, but it'll work for now. And then I found this little wad of fishing line. I don't know how old it is, but we'll strength test it here in a minute. Probably about 10 pounds or something. Probably worth about four pounds now as it's dry rotted. Dude, this is better than I thought. I didn't think I'd find this much stuff. Where'd you find that at over there? This? Yeah. Yeah, under the bridge. Noise. Here's a railroad spike. I'll bring it just in case. I don't know what I'll do with it. You but... can use it as like a weapon. Yeah. Make a hammer out of it. Like put it in a big stick. That is true. I can make a club out of it. Here's the pop can Ethan found. I don't know what's in it, but I ain't gonna ask questions. I don't want anything except the pop tab. I don't know if y'all have seen my super old video where I actually went fishing with one of these, and it actually turned out pretty good. And if we can get on some fish, we can catch them with this. And I found some crawdaddies right over there in the creek, so I can go get them as bait if I have to. I think worms will be better though. I found us a basketball in case I want to ball up later. Oh, okay. Bet. That's bussin' bussin'. It's actually halfway aired up. Let's ball one time. Okay, I give up. Let's right. build that fish hook. Then we can get our fishing line rigged up. I lost the thing. What? Pop tap. It couldn't have went far. Oh, there it is. All right, now let's craft this thing. Handy dandy survival knife. Handy dandy crafting rock. Let's get started. All right, guys, so basically what I'm gonna try to do with this is make this right here the hook, that the hook point, and this is where we're gonna tie the thing on. So I'm gonna try to make it a sharp enough hook point and then still give me a thing just right there. Should be able to cut that pretty easy, and it did. And so now we can stretch that out a little bit. And then right there, we have a little bit of a hook point, and then I can cut some of this off if I want to, to give my hook a little bit more space to, you know, grab. So, uh, it's not much, but it's a hook for now. It looks pretty sharp. I mean, yeah, it is pretty sharp. I can probably even cut this off since it's not helping us out a ton, and it'll give our hook a little bit more bite. You just always poke a hole in it with your knife. Yeah, and so, should be able to snap it off right here. Perfect. I am making my knife a little less sharp by trying to cut steel on a rock like this, but honestly, I mean, it's a survival situation. As long as I can get food right now, that's more important than my knife going dull. It don't matter how sharp my knife is if I'm dead and can't find food. So now that right there is what we're looking at. We'll tie the line right there, put the bait right there. Hopefully we can hook the fish right there and go from there. Hey man, you find something? Yeah, check this out. Oh son, what have you found? Well. For one, I found this. It's tetanus. But now I also found this. Oh, never mind. It's a spider web. I thought that was a fishing line. In the light, it looked like one. But yeah, let's go ahead and find bait. 
worms, grubs, maybe even a crawdad, but I'm gonna say grubs will be our best option. Since the line that we're using and the hook we're using, it ain't gonna stand up to a catfish, so. We're probably gonna have to go for a bluegill, maybe a trout. But we don't have trout, so we're going for bluegill. We have trout here. I don't know if we do or not. I've caught them. In this? Yeah. Huh. We just rolled up on a chicken. We was out looking for bait and we don't we can't make this stuff up there is a wild chicken there's a wild you see it there's a wild chicken can you see it yeah there's a wild chicken out here dude and i mean i like fish and everything but if i can eat chicken yeah Where's it at? I downed it. I downed it, dude. Grab it! Grab it! Grab it! Hey, did you get one? Dude. Cause dude. I, after I chased him, like I didn't see him no more. Dude, I think I just throwing knifed a chicken. I didn't think I was that good at a throwing knife, but apparently so. Hey, man. KG stinking survival knife, throwing knife edition. And I know what you guys may be saying, Kendall, dude, you just killed somebody's chicken. And that's actually not the case because the closest house from this location is like two miles away. And so they're kind of just randomly here. Plus there's a pack of three of them. So someone probably either dropped them off or something. And the good thing about this knife, how it's a full tang, it's got some weight behind it. So even if I would have messed up the rotation, just hit him with that, I basically hit him with a club. Pretty much. All right, guys, I'm going to put this chicken in the water because it's summertime and there's flies trying to get on it. So I'm just going to dug it in the water, keep flies from getting on it. Once we cook it, it'll get all the bacteria from the water off of it. So, And then right here in a minute, after I set up my fishing pole, I think I'm just going to use that as bait. I'm not going to eat the insides. I'm just going to eat the, you know, parts that's edible. So I'll have a lot of meat right there that I can actually use for bait. 20,000 likes, and we will do a jungle survival in the rain like straight up rainforest type stuff we're gonna remake vietnam but survival it's pretty much gonna be exactly like vietnam survival and we're gonna wait until it rains to do it but yeah i mean i'll go ahead and pick out a piece of that then we're gonna build our fishing pole and try to catch a fish because the chicken's plenty enough meat and everything but that's kind of a wild card we're gonna go for a fish too but that's exactly what he's looking for. There we go. There we go one time. It took us 20 minutes. That's a pretty good one for the creek, ain't it? That's a good size little bluegill. I mean, we only got one in 20 minutes, but I mean, I could definitely get enough food if I sit here all day. And the little toothpick or whatever this is worked out pretty good for just, ow, whatever it is. Not bad, not bad. I'm gonna have to go ahead and kill this guy because I don't know where to put him right now. So catch y'all in a minute after I kill this guy and figure out what exactly I'm gonna do with him. All right, guys, so since I have two things of meat and no fire yet, I don't exactly want to go ahead and chop them up yet. I'm just going to set them down in this cool water so that, you know, flies can't get to them, nothing like that. Here in a minute, once I get the fire started, if I get a fire started, I'll come over and actually start cleaning them. But for now, I'm just going to lay them right there. Put a couple little rocks on them so that nothing can float them away. Now let's go build a fire. Did you say you found a fire starter or something like that? Yep. Where's it at? I got it in my pocket, actually. Let's see what kind it is. Oh, okay. We can probably do something with that. That should be all right. I think the best thing we can do for now is just look under this bridge and see if I, we can find a little kennel and stuff like those dead leaves on the trees, just something like that to start it. Let me boost you up into that crack right there and you get those really dry small logs out of it. Okay. Right here would probably be the easiest way up. Think so? Yep. Let's see what I can do. Watch your knees. Here, let me just pick you up there so you don't hit your knees. <laughs> I'm bleeding. From hey. what? I don't know, probably the 15 hazardous things I've done so far today. This should be all right. If I can hold on to this. Yeah, we up here, son. Check this out. I'm gonna just grab some. All right. 
Here's this. Can you take that back to camp? That should be perfect for getting it started. Yeah, it should be. I'm gonna set it over here on this dry sand. Get the walking stick. I don't think I'm good. Oh, you all right? Yeah, I'm good. All right, let's get started. probably Kendall dude where do I get that knife because it's looking really good right now and the last time we used it I had a lot of people asking me too but this is actually the KG survival knife I literally built this thing just for this an all-around survival knife I can I killed a chicken with it today guys it speaks for itself I killed a chicken I'm batoning wood and it's an all-around beast but if you want one you get it at kendallgrade1.com slash shop or the first thing in the description but be sure to use promo code chicken all caps 10 to get 10% off this thing for the next three days. So this thing's a stinking brute. And I've got a lot more sticks to baton. This thing makes starting fires easy. Yes, yes, yes. Be calm, be calm. Boys, one bad shake. This ain't working too hot. Nice and easy to get some of these things burning here. We can, yeah. Some of those little shavings I've been I've been shaving for an hour. I didn't want to have to do this, but I'm gonna have to use some paper. All right, with the aid of Ethan's wallet, we got a piece of paper. If we looked hard enough, we could probably find some. But here we go. We need something to burn just long enough to get some of these bigger little sticks lit and burning just a little bit, nothing crazy. Did it go out again? I don't know what its deal is. All right, guys, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's raining now. So luckily, somehow, we picked the absolute perfect location. Probably with the only location we could have actually made a fire. And we actually got it burning pretty good now that we finally got some of this good wood. I just had to keep batoning it into smaller and smaller pieces. And then it's doing pretty good right there. We're gonna go over here and actually get take care of this fish and this chicken. Now, I'm mainly wanting the chicken legs, so that's what I'm gonna go for now. There's Ethan's setup. He never actually got to fish though, because we could never get the fire started. He may fish here in a minute. Let me tell you why I'm fishing. Why? Because I ain't the one surviving. Yeah, you're getting ready to eat Taco Bell. I gotta eat a chicken. I just throw a knife. Anyways, um. Would you want me to bring it back and eat it here? Or you want me to eat it there, then come yeah, back. Just, just eat it there. <laughs> Ten and a chicken, not too bad. Not too bad. I may eat a leg and thigh. Dude, they ain't no fat on that, or what I can see right now. No, they ain't no fat on it at all. It's a feral chicken. Cody would have got him quick. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Right there, son leg and thigh it ain't big but like i was saying it's a younger feral chicken hey that'll taste pretty good i can tell you that right now i bet now. it would right there is my meal now for this little fishy survival situation i'm gonna save as much meat as possible i'm gonna scale it instead of filleting it And then I could have used these fish guts to catch another fish, but we ain't gonna do that. And just like that, we got one fish and one feral chicken ready to rock and roll and eat. Boys, I don't know about you, but that fish is looking mighty fine right there, huh? Huh? Looks like a fish. It looks good, dude. It looks better than just as good as a store. I just gotta protect my chicken. I don't want anything to get on my chicken before I eat it. Of course, even if a, let's say, a fly would have laid some eggs on it. I think if I cook it correctly, I'll be okay. It'll kill them. Yeah. I just want to be sure that I cook this chicken enough. So like this fish, I'm probably ready to eat it anytime. I really want to cook the chicken until it's done done. I don't want to risk anything because if I eat the chicken at the wrong time, I'll be in the bed for two weeks, and you guys won't have a video for two weeks. We don't want that. I think this old son's ready to go, don't you? Yeah, take you big ah, bite out there. Right. I'll let it cool down. Does it feel like? Feel done? No, nah, it ain't done.
Hey, there we go. There we go. She's cooking now. She's cooking now. Okay. Okay, one time. If that falls off the stick, I'm probably going to start crying. Just letting you know. Because I, I don't get Taco Bell today. Only he does. All right, and I got a fish floss water. <laughs> All right, boys. I think, I think, I think, I think the fish is done. Normally, bluegill's good eating, too. Oh, I love bluegill. Bluegill's probably my fa one of my favorites. But right there, that's a, that's a good little fish nugget. It's not good, it's not bad. Keep you alive. Yeah, cooking it a little bit longer would have fixed it, but I'll be all right, I suppose. It's a little bit too late now. Most of the fish is gone. But now, wait a few more minutes and hopefully our chicken will be done. <coughs> all right, boys, I think our chicken might be done. We've let it just roast it pretty much till the fire went out. Now, even though the fire is out, it still has a ton of heat and by blowing on it, I can pretty much restart it. Just like that, I just restarted it by blowing on it. It ain't nothing too special, but a chicken leg is a chicken leg and meat is meat, especially in a survival situation. So let's go ahead and try some of, let's go straight like I would from KFC. Take a bite right there on the leg. Okay, let's actually go for the thigh. Uh, well, it ain't good. You know what it smells like? It smells like fried bologna. It's and smart. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Mm, that's actually pretty good. Is it? Yeah, it's just the outside that's a little tough, which makes sense. Once I peel back that outside layer, the inside looks good. That right there, the white part, that actually looks pretty good. And it actually tastes pretty good too. Mm. Anyways guys, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this leg. We're gonna skin up the rest of that chicken And don't forget if we can get 20,000 likes on this video We will do a jungle survival video in the rain and also don't forget if you want to check out the KG survival knife Use code chicken 10 all caps click the first link in the description and check it out and without further ado I will catch you guys later. My name's KG and you're watching Disney Channel <laughs>